And tonight we answer several calls from our In Your Corner hotline. They come from families who pay thousands of dollars to have storm shelters installed at their homes. Tonight, Scott Hines goes in their corner. Sum that up. <laughs> we see today a lot of heartache. And a storm shelter that's been belly up for a year now. And you can see what it looks like after a rain. Mike Johnson's yard is pretty much useless, not to mention dangerous for his kids. He says the worst part, though, is knowing his family doesn't have anywhere to go during a tornado. I paid money for this to protect my family. The guy who installed the shelter is John Keeley of Common Ground Storm Shelters. Mike says he refuses to come and get it. Because I've spent a lot of time calling the guy. The bad part is, is you try to be nice. You, you know, I understand the situation he's in. He actually had multiple shelters that I'm aware of that have floated up out of the ground. We checked. The state confirms five complaints against Keeley's company. Plus, we know the Better Business Bureau lowered his rating to an F for failing to respond to complaints. Mike tried calling the business owner one more time. Yes, this is Keeley Safer. Please leave your message. We found his address online and waited for him to return home. Howdy. Good. Good. How's it going? Good. You ready to talk to us? Why not? We need, we need to talk to you about you guys spin it all. We need to talk to you about spin Michael. Where, where, how come it's floating? Keeley didn't want to get out of his SUV to talk to us. John, the shelter you installed in Michael's backyard is now floating. Have you been back to his house to, to look at it? We were just there. That's all you're going to get. Are you, are you going to give him his money back? Keeley says he's only installing safe rooms now. What he handed me was a report that says his safe room design was tested and approved by the National Wind Institute at Texas Tech, which we reminded him has nothing to do with the below ground shelter now floating in Mike's backyard. Are you going to give him his money back? Absolutely. Oh, you are? Absolutely. Well, it's been... Does he? Does he? Do know? I look like a guy that's got that kind of money? But you know what? Does he know that? We're working on it. Yes, does I know? does. You've been. You've had a year. You. You've had a year. Will you call them? Yes. Please? Here's the in your corner bottom line: state agencies don't regulate shelter installers. Period. Some municipalities, including Oklahoma City, require a permit, but it does little good to protect customers. I mean, I Just ask permit. Ken Milligan. And that was even hilarious. We had to pull a city permit and then let them know it was installed so they could come out and check it. They drove by the house is all they done. Ken says his shelter is built good, but several issues came to light shortly after the install. And all I can guess is when they put it in, these walls compressed a little bit. Biggest thing is water. There appears to be hollow spots beneath the shelter. After some of these rains and stuff, I've notice now you could I could hear water sloshing around. Ken paid extra for a warranty but the company that installed it Precision Shelters went out of business. We know the company's managing partner Dan Trantham is filing bankruptcy and now lives in Fort Worth. Here he is on YouTube. Our shelter is a handcrafted product built well built to last and has a lifetime warranty. Trantham tells the In Your Corner team there simply wasn't enough money to keep the doors open. And because he's in bankruptcy proceedings, there's nothing he can do to help Ken right now. What recourse do I have? Probably none. Because if he's not in business, I have no business to go to. Because odds are he's not going to stand behind it. It's so important to educate yourself, getting references, doing searches online, and making sure that your storm shelter or safe room meets FEMA guidelines. John Keeley tells me that right now he doesn't have the extra cash to pay back his customers, but he's working on it. We'll check back. I'm Scott Hines, in your corner. And if you need Scott's help, you can get in touch with Scott by heading to KFOR.com slash in your corner, or you can simply call the number you see at the bottom of your screen. Our in your corner team has new information tonight, and it involves a family whose storm shelter popped right out of the ground. Couldn't believe our eyes. The guy who installed it refused to do anything about it. But someone else who caught wind of our story stepped up to the plate. Scott Hines has the update. Look what's going in the ground in Mike Johnson's backyard. Can answer our prayers. Yeah. Remember, the family's old shelter was floating for an entire year. The guy who installed it, John Keeley of Common Ground Storm Shelters, was refusing to come back and get it or refund Mike his cash. Are you going to give him his money back? Absolutely. Oh, you are? Absolutely. Well, it's been... 
Does he? Does he? Do know? I look like a guy that's got that kind of money? But you know what? Does he know that? We're working on it. Yes, does he I know? does. You've been. You've had a Thank year. You. You've had a year. Will, will you call them? Will yes. you please? Keely never called, but someone else did. How did you hear about Mike and Sam? Uh, your story. It was actually Jason Birdsong's mom, mom who saw our story. She called Jason, and he and his crew from Survivor Shelters drove all the way from Tulsa to help the Johnson family. There's no way I can ever say thanks enough to a company. To, yeah. that's, to that's, heart that's, as generous uh, as yours. That's what it's all about. It's not, you know, I've got family at home. I got a little girl, wife and daughter, and I want them to be safe when I'm out working too. Jason says the shelter he put in the ground isn't going anywhere. Bob, how excited? Very excited. Very Bobby, blessed. Show me. Show me. Show me. I, uh, do, do you like a little dance or a little? Yes, we are very excited. <laughs> We're excited about getting the trampoline back here yes. before too long. Yes. Best part for Dad, knowing his family is safe. Really, from the bottom of our heart, we appreciate it. There's nothing we can ever do to repay you guys for the kindness that you showed to my family uh, and yeah. taking care of us. And, I'm yeah. Scott Hines. In your corner. <laughs> Looks like a happy family. Unfortunately, there are other Keeley customers whose shelters are still floating in their backyards. All of them filed complaints with the Attorney General's office. Since shelter installers aren't regular, regulated by the state, it's smart to do your homework online. One useful resource is the American Tornado Shelter Association, which keeps an information base online of shelter installers who do things the right way.